by is the uh, 30 days uh, issue when you say this could happen in 30 days. You're not saying that it could happen 30 days from now. What you're referring to is that once it starts, it could complete the reversal in a 30-day period. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry if I gave that impression. Yeah. Well, no, I got a I got a flash message asking that question, so. Okay. No, no, I do not believe it's going to be coming in 30 days. I have, it may be 100 years from now. I, I don't think anybody can answer that. Okay. But 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 uh, but once it does start, and again, I'm I'm. Other scientists, I, I don't call myself a science. I'm a, a scientist. I'm a science writer. I've looked at all of the the information, but but some scientists say it could happen. Once it happens, it could happen in 30 days. But others say 500 years it would take. Others say 5,000. I, I think the ones who say 5,000 years are way off, uh, just based on that that Steens Mountain study. Okay, from Tony in Australia. Um, Tony says, uh, what are we to believe? Well, he says, um, what's going on? I mean, with the 2012 thing and now this earth tilt, uh, and, and we'll talk about the earth tilt in just a moment. Uh, what are we to believe? I'm scared, Kevin. I don't want my family to die. I'm not that old myself. It's not our time yet. I wish I'd never heard of this crap. Well, Tony, um, Nothing is being said here or in any of the books that have been written that has not been already available in print for several thousand years. Um, it's not new information. Now, there are, there are people newly discovering this information, but this information has been, you know, I would recommend you read uh, like um, Revelation, Nostradamus, um, Mahabharata, uh, this stuff's been around for thousands of years, this information. And uh, so this is not new. There's not anything to be afraid of. You didn't die today. Uh, well, plus, one other thing. When you were born, there's an invisible stamp on your butt, and that's your expiration date. <laughs> you were born dying. <laughs> okay, so it didn't happen today. It might happen tomorrow, but if it doesn't, okay. Uh, I wouldn't worry about any of this. But the tilt, you're not talking about the earth actually tilting over, are you? No, I'm not. Um, now, one of the things I would say, I do not, let me say up front, I do not sell food on my website. <laughs> but I do strongly believe that, that people would be very wise to start a food storage problem, uh, program, because if 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 I'm right, uh, even if you're not covered with ice, the, you're going to see a breakdown in 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 uh, the way food is distributed, and you're going to see a uh, a breakdown in climate, uh, where you know all of if these if these volcanoes are going off that they're going to be cooling the sky and at the same time underwater volcanoes are going to be heating the oceans which is going to pump more and more moisture into the sky and 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 we're going to be looking at at ice ages so food and even if i'm wrong you can always eat the food later that's so true I, I would really but okay going back to your question about no i don't think that the earth physically turns upside down Mm -hmm. Now, one of the people who did uh, endorse my first book, though, uh, uh, Pro Professor Emeritus of Geology, John Sanders, from Columbia University, he was not only a geologist, he wrote several books on geology, but he also studied, studied uh, astronomy. And he pointed out that there is one of our planets that is, in fact, upside down, and so possibly that could happen. So... I don't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the. Uh, I haven't seen the proof of it. But then there's other studies. Uh, David Talbot, Talbot, who wrote uh, uh, Thunderbolts of the Gods, and he quotes a lot of Indian stories. A lot of them, where the Indians saw the the stars fall from the sky, which would would indicate that what was actually happening is the Earth was turning upside down. So. 
I haven't seen the evidence, but there is so much of that that those Indian that Indian lore that talks about that that I can't totally rule it rule it out. I've read some reports uh, that say that Antarctica at one time was approximately where Australia is today. I think that's possible. Just just with uh, just with the tectonic movement. I mean, all of the continents are moving uh, about as fast as a fingernail grows, and over a million years or two million years, you can move a lot of miles. You know, if you if you look at a globe, uh, America, the United, America, South America, they would fit very nicely into the underbelly of Africa. Sure. And scientists actually now do believe that that those continents were once connected, and that they have just been moving apart. And they're still moving apart at about three quarters of an inch per year. So, so yes, Australia has been in a different place. Antarctica has been in a different place. Uh, so many parts of the world have been in different places at different times. But uh, a magnetic pole reversal does not mean that you have a reversal of the physical poles. It's right. an electronic thing. It's it's uh, right. Well, not electronic, but I mean, it's a, it's well, an electromagnetic yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I I don't think that the Earth physically turns upside down at all. So it's not even something that we would see happening, other than the fact that you know the the tectonic movement that we'd be having giant earthquake quakes and and uh, giant volcanic eruptions, uh, and so that I would expect. You know. Well, for instance, Yellowstone, the last time it had a major, major super eruption was, was about 640,000. And just by coincidence, that's when what's known as the big lost magnetic reversal occurred. Again, I don't think it's a coincidence. So do you think that in this magnetic reversal, it may set off the super volcanoes like Yellowstone? Yes, I do fear that. Or, you know, yeah, see, now, now i got to join Tony. See, now I'm scared because I'm down here in the kill zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Phoenix in the kill zone from Yellowstone? Within a few hours because of the ash, yeah. Because of the yeah. ash okay. within a well, few hours. Well, the ash is going to be going the other way, away from you. Uh, because during uh, the last time Yellowstone erupted, I mean, as badly as we're talking about, there, there's areas in Nebraska where the ash was seven feet deep. Uh-huh. Now, can you imagine if you got ash seven feet deep and it's glassy, and it's it's not only accumulating on land, it's a, it's landing all all of the rivers, so it's killing all of the fish, and it's and it's and and those rivers are running into the lakes, and so your your lakes are becoming entirely filled with ash. Oh, that that would be an Oh, an un- unimaginable disaster. All right, we have to step away for a break. And when we come back, we'll be on final approach. And that means, of course, if you have a question or a comment, you need to give us a call, even if you've never called us before. But if you're a first-time caller, be sure you tell me you are when you call, okay? All right, we'll be back. To the Kevin Smith Show and my guest Robert Felix. Robert, uh, let's go straight to the telephone and uh, take this call, and then we have a flash message we have to get to, and then I have a question. So we got a lot to do in these last few minutes. Caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Yeah, good evening, gentlemen. It's uh, Terry from Ohio. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Yeah, um, yeah, I got a couple of questions. Um, how um, if if the poles shift, um, 
you know, like we say, we know everything about electricity, but what it is. Um, does he see that, that affecting our our electricity, you know, in any 